Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in for this video. This is going to be um, a You Ask segment. Um, I had this series going a while back and I kind of want to revive it again. It's basically where I address a question that comes directly from a viewer. Um, usually I've already answered the question to them specifically and then I see if it's okay if I can feature their question in this segment because usually these are questions that are asked a lot and I feel like by answering them in a video I can reach a lot more people um, and hopefully get you know your questions answered as well so uh, this question is from Allie and I'll just read you briefly part of her email she sent me um, she said I was wondering if you could help me with something I'm 18 and in a few weeks I begin my journey as a freshman in college as an honors student, yay, good job. And I was wondering how one might keep up a healthy skincare slash makeup routine. Thankfully, my genetics prove that within a few years, all my acne problems will be gone. I just had the occasional unsightly blemish, as most girls do during these teen years. I have Irish porcelain combination skin and wear everyday minerals. If any of that information helped, I just want to fit some pieces together and see what I can do, whether it be on the run looks or something I can do when I have more time in the morning or evening. Um, I'm curious to know the routes you took when you were in your college years. So I think this is a great question because I think a lot of people are making that transition from high school to college and it's time to start thinking about you know being on your own and getting in that good skincare habit even though you might be super busy yeah, maybe you've gotten involved in a lot of activities that are taking up a lot of your time or you know it's just kind of it's a it's a lifestyle change colleges so this these are some great things to think about and I just thought I would give you some skincare and makeup uh, sort of bullet points so you guys can maybe have some things to think about if you are just starting college or you know really for anybody I think this kind of applies across the board as well so skincare um, one of the big tips I gave Allie was to wash your face every morning and night, no matter how tired you are. And this is another one of those tips that I think everybody tends to give, but it is truly so important to wash your face at night, even if you are just super tired. If you can get a wipe and, you know, just get that off real quick and, and get rid of all, all of the makeup that's been building on your face all day. Um, and then in terms of actually getting it off, I really like the Olay Facials Daily Cleansing Cloths. Those are what I use every day to take my makeup off. And it gets rid of my eye makeup too, so one swipe, you know, across my face and I've been able to take off everything. Even like waterproof liners, um, usually waterproof mascaras, it does pretty well on those too. They come in like a combination, um, like oily to combo skin or a dry to normal skin. Uh, range there so those are really great they're awesome for travel too you don't have to mess mess with washcloths and stuff like that and it's and I also really enjoyed them in college for that purpose that was when I started using them because I was like you know I don't want to mess with always having to wash washcloths and stuff like that I've got enough other laundry and, and stuff like that to deal with so I started using these and you know you just use them dispose of them they're easy to use in the shower or wherever so um, yeah the daily facials cleansing cloths are really good also in the morning if I don't have makeup to remove I'll, I'll use like a gentle cleanser like Johnson & Johnson's purpose it's like as gentle as water and it really does like break up any oil or anything like that so that's very very mild soap to use and it doesn't over dry you um, other things for the occasional blemish um, I really like the clean and clear Persa gel uh, I'll put that on if I notice something's coming on or even you know you kind of feel it under your skin and it's like hasn't totally evolved into a blemish yet and you're like oh it's coming well I use that um, Persa gel um, it really does a good job of just drying it up and usually it can take care of it you know in a couple days uh, and I put it on at night before I go to bed and just dab it on the problem spots um, if if you're real oily around your nose you know you might want to put a little more on there but um, yeah that's another drugstore product you can pick up um, moisturizing is also really important even if you do have oily skin you still want to make sure you moisturize you just need to make sure you're using the right kind um, uh, for people who ask me you know say I have oily skin but I don't know 
what moisturizer I would use for that. I really suggest a product from Neutrogena called Oil Free Moisture. Um, I think this has SPF in it. There's like a sensitive skin option. They used to sell this in a tinted version that was great too. Um, but that's really, really light and it, it's just good because you, you still need to moisturize. Bottom lines for all this, you need to remove your makeup. You need to um, tend to your blemishes if you have them. You need to moisturize your skin. And um, with eye creams, I don't think college is too soon to use um, an extra moisturizing, hydrating cream around your eye area. One that I've really liked is actually on BeRoyalProducts.com. It's from Be Luscious, and it's the Oolong Tea and Carrot Oil Eye Cream. It smells delicious, um, but it's a, just a really great hydrating uh, treatment for the eyes. For a more heavy-duty like firming cream, I know there's one from Mary Kay that works very well, the firming eye cream um, that I've actually been using lately just to pat around like this area, you know, and, and sort of right in here, just trying to keep that area very, you know, youthful. Moving on to makeup, just some quick uh, makeup tips. If you are, if your S if your SPF, if your moisturizer does not have that SPF and it makes sure that at least your foundation does if you're using that. If you're running to a kind of a light finish, consider maybe like a tinted moisturizer to give you that light layer of moisture and then, because that can give you some really light coverage, but then topping that off with like a mineral powder. Um, it's kind of like taking two light to medium coverage products and using them together to get sort of a natural yet somewhat flawless finish um, so that's just one way I mean for those people I get a lot of questions like you know I don't want the makeup look I don't want it to appear that I've got makeup on my face but I want that light coverage liquid foundations like Rimmel lasting finish and Revlon color stay are probably my top two liquid foundations because they provide a lot of coverage and um, I mean they're just great for everyday flawless look but you don't always want that much and I understand that so tinted moisturizers mineral foundations sometimes used together can be a good option there. Um, under eye concealer, uh, yeah, I use this a lot in college. Um, I found it very beneficial. A couple of my favorite drugstore uh, concealers are the NYX Concealer in a Jar. That's as close to the Bobbi Brown stuff as I have found, and Bobbi Brown is like ultimate favorite. Um, and Kat Von D Tattoo Concealer. Those are like way up here and then just underneath is the NYX concealer in, in a jar and Maybelline Mineral Power. I like using that because you can use it on any blemishes and it doesn't, uh, I don't feel, I feel like it's so gentle it doesn't irritate those uh, problem areas even more. Um, don't forget about blush and bronzer. It can make a huge difference in livening up your face. Um, you know, bronzer to lightly contour. I love the Milani ones. The Sunset Duos are a nice two-in-one product because you've got the bronzer that's a, usually a nice matte tone that you get with that and then a little bit of blush is in the same compact. Um, those are awesome. CoverGirl blushes I always enjoy uh, and it's very quick to do. You know, you can get a big fluffy kabuki brush, swirl it all over your face, it does not need to be precise, but just getting that layer of color on your face is really good. Um, in terms of eye makeup, um, I, you know, I was telling Allie that you don't need to get too fancy during the day for your everyday look, especially if you don't have a lot of time. But I have a lot of videos labeled um, teen tutorials or everyday eyes that I think are very, very everyday appropriate for anyone, whether you're a college student or not. Um, I think those are very appropriate everyday looks. That is a real a question I get asked all the time, and if I could just shout it from the rooftops, look for my teen tutorials, my everyday eyes video, any video that says natural or whatever um, if you're ever looking for any kind of you know video that I've done I've done more than 250 videos now so there's a lot to look through and I get that you know not everybody's seen everything but if there's a key thing you're looking for um, if you go to my channel page and then scroll down to where it's got like about nine videos listed on the front page there's a little search box in there and if you type like everyday eyes or teen tutorials it'll pull up every video I've done like that or if you want to see the celebrity looks under the 100 most beautiful series um, you know just type that in there it'll pull them all up for you and you'll see what I have if you're looking for you know purple I mean you type in purple and you'll probably get a few there too so um, but yeah those sorts of tutorials I've made very um, just beginner friendly but also 
easy, natural, polished, uh, and a, a look that lots of people are looking for for an everyday basis. Plenty of tutorials for nighttime looks as well. So that's kind of what I have to say about eyes there. You know, there's a big range, so just kind of look through some of those tutorials. Um, for lips, I would say um, there's tons of ways you can go with lips. We, uh, different people prefer different things. Some people are lip balm girls or lipstick girls or lip gloss. You know, you've got all all these different options. What I would say is just get a little, get a formula you like, and get a few different shades in it. Get something that's like a red or berry toned uh, lipstick or lip gloss or whatever. Get something that's nude. That means like it could be. Uh, it doesn't have to be like complete erase your lips nude. I'm not as huge a fan of that as I am those with golden or peachy tones. And get like a light to medium pink shade. Uh, if you're just starting out, getting kind of those three things going on is going to give you some nice options to experiment with. Um, that is basically my answer to her question, my very long answer um, to just what are some tips if you're going off to college uh, to get that, develop that makeup routine that you can is definitely like a go-to look for every day and also taking care of your skin so um, I hope this cleared some things up for others as well I really hope this was useful um, there's obviously even more details I could have included but these are just the basic bullet points that I wanted to get across to you all and uh, thank you so much for watching and have a great day and a great school year